next up, I put the new uh, oil pressure sensor in to plug that hole. And moving down here, this is the 1255. 1595 if you can see that so if you've got 1255 50 1595 uh, that basically is just a plug so what I had to do is uh, I had to drill a hole in it uh, drilled a one quarter hole and after drilling the one quarter hole I tapped it I believe with a three eighths uh, to put in that brass fitting which goes to the uh, mechanical oil pressure gauge so I've got that there, and then I had to finagle uh, a way to get pressure, and there's a couple good YouTube videos about that. Um, I got this pump from Harbor Freight um, for 12 or 13 bucks. You can get them online, I think at Amazon, but they're like 39 or something like that. Uh, coming off the pump is a very large three quarter, so I got a couple fittings to get me from the three quarters down to the God, what is it, three eighths, I think, of the air hose. That comes up in here. Now this poses another issue here. Um, that is an oil galley plug. Uh, it's a solid, like, plug. But it's an M16 by 1.5 thread into the block. I couldn't find an M16 to save my life. So I ended up going to the dealership and buying a replacement plug, uh, drilling a hole in it, and then tapping it to get this male uh, fitting on it. That looks just like that guy right there is what's coming out of there. So he, the male end of that is in the female end of the plug, which is I tapped out. And then of course, it's just uh, onto the fitting, which has uh, got a barb on it. And that's what I was able to slide the hose on, onto the barb. And, uh, and it worked pretty good. So that's that end, going into that end. Once again, a big three quarters coming off of there. I could have just used a three quarter uh, clear all the way in, um, but I didn't have one. And I happen to have this five eighths, I think. And I also happen to have a, a three quarter to a five eight step down. So I just used that. I wanted it clear here so that I could see the oil um, coming out of the oil can. So uh, basically what I did was I primed the pump. That's a fun job. And once the pump was primed, uh, I was able to use the drill to uh, pull the oil out of here. And uh, I was getting a 40 uh, PSI and also uh, I had an assistant at that point and I uh, had the assistant uh, uh, while the drill was going um, rotate the crank slowly so that we could get oil through all the passages and we were uh, able to get oil through all 16 push rods. All right, so uh, a couple minutes later, I've got the uh, the new oil galley plug installed. It's a uh, M16 by 1.5. Oh, by the way, if you can find a M16 by 1.5 to a barb um, to put the hose on, that might be ideal. But here's mine. Basically, uh, that was solid. I had to drill the hole, and uh, and then I had to tap it. I've rendered this useless because it's got a hole in it now, and I'm not going to continue to use the mechanical oil pressure gauge. So I had to order a new one of these too uh, to block that passage because it doesn't do anything. Because the oil pressure sensor is handled by this guy up here and a computer controlled uh, sensor, I guess. But that's that.